In this ever and rapidly changing world, we need to be ready for anything, whether it's going to the local shops or something much further away. My intention in this video is to go and have lunch by the sea and to get there and back again in an electric car without having to charge it up anywhere. Mm. Okay, I think I'm set. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting one. I don't normally do range tests, you know, I don't normally get an electric car and go, I want to drive from here to car. But anyway, what I did was over the last while on Instagram and TikTok and various other places, I asked people to vote for the best chip shop in Ireland. Sounds mad, doesn't it, right? But three basically came out on top pretty much. Uh, very few in Dublin, if I'm honest. Most of them seem to be more the same, but the ones that came up with the top votes of all the country was a, was a place in Limerick, there's a place in Cork called KC's, and then there's a place in Wexford that I'm going to go to in Kenmore Quay, right? So that's that's where that's where I'm heading for. That's as far south as I can possibly go in this car. I can't go any further south because that's the sea. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna fill up this little car here. I'm gonna drive all the way there and all the way back on a single tank of electricity. I'm also aware that Bjorn Nyland, I think his name is, uh, does this kind of thing quite regularly, this kind of long drive stuff. But I don't. I've always treated electric cars to be the same as a normal car. I wouldn't normally pick up in a, in a petrol diesel car and drive it to the petrol diesel tank is empty. I just, I just drive it around normally. So I've always done that with electric cars as well. So let's hurry up this bloody charging bit. I know the camera's not exactly brilliant here, but I'm going to move that one around during this just here for now because I'm setting my destination for Kilmore Quay right here and uh, I'll actually show that to you uh, this is going to be a bit rougher and readier now today and I'm doing this on purpose because uh, I need to show other things okay so here we are Kilmore Key two hours and eight minutes from here 132 kilometers that's where I'm heading for it that's where the destination is start it's going to be please follow the road around 11 34 when I reach there that's it right now let's rock on Abilix, I am in you. I am passing through the lovely town of Abilix now. Um, there is a bakery here, but I must resist. I must resist the lemon tarts and the croissants and stuff that they have in here because I like that. I've just had breakfast and I'm going to have fish and chips. It's just, it's going to be a, a chunk of day. There is their bakery. I'm wondering what kind of one. What's the story of Chicken Corner? Explain that one. Quick fuel situation update. I've actually gained kilometers as I come down that road there, just trundling along. You see, these things are guessometers, so it guesses what it thinks you might be able to do based upon what you've been doing so far. So I haven't been driving the car very much, and I've just been driving today very steady, really steady driving. And I'm now getting over 300 kilometers range when I started off at about 285. So I've gained kilometers by my method of driving. You see, my genius is astounding when I'm doing these things. Really, honestly, like, uh, the planning that goes into one of these things is literally minutes, literally minutes I plan. I suppose I always count this as sort of the halfway mark because it is kind of uh, it's not really halfway but I always feel like Bennett's Bridge is because it's an unusual little town so uh, while the car definitely doesn't need a break I actually need the toilet so I'm gonna try and find a toilet here in Bennett's Bridge <gasps> we could be in luck there's a, it's actually top it's not SO but there is a petrol station so it could be could be lucky we'll see if it's got a toilet in it let's have a look there must be some form of toilet here somewhere. Welcome to Bob's Toilet Review.
Ain't nobody coming in that fucking door, that's for sure. I'll say one thing first. It's actually clean. It smells okay in here now. Well, that's a relief, back in the car, starting to move again, and lovely man gave me sweet things there. I never thought to ask his name, that's terrible. From my TikTok, so if you don't follow me on TikTok, you should. Lovely little community over TikTok, very nice people. Anyway, let's pound down some more miles. 250 kilometers left in the tank, 75 kilometers to go to the destination. Have a beautiful little country lads. You just don't know it. You don't pay enough attention. Gotcha. So after spotting something from the road, some sort of monument. There's a brown sign for it, so I ain't going. I'm going to go and have a look. It's up this little tiny lane. There's a gate here, there's a car park. <gasps> this could be it. It's over there. It looks I, I can't even explain it. I can't even explain it. I'll have to show you. This 94 foot 4 inch monument was finished in 1841 and was commissioned by General Robert Brown Clayton in memory of Sir Ralph Abercrombie who was the commanding officer in the Egyptian battles against Napoleon. The monument was struck by lightning in 1994 and the Wexford Monument Trust was set up and acquired the lands and the granite monument. I have 213 kilometers of range left and 29 kilometers to go. That's pretty good. One of the main reasons I don't tend to do range tests is simply because, well, they're boring for a start, but besides being boring, inevitably what happens is someone in the comments is going to say, well, what about the fact that you get your fuel from a coal-fired power station or whatever, yeah? That's, that's gonna be a comment sooner or later. But like I'm surrounded here by wind farms. Last year, nearly half of the energy that Ireland provided for itself came from wind, renewable resources. Now, I don't know whether you agree or disagree, but I see houses all along here and they're all right, ne and I mean next to these things. There's probably 300 meters to the nearest house here from one of those wind farms. I'd love to know, if you're in nice houses anywhere near wind farm, get in touch with me, leave a comment. Tell me, can you hear them? Do they bother you? Is it, is it, do you get used to it or what happens is it? Because I used to live for years beside the N7 motorway. When I say beside it, I lived in Newbridge. I lived less than 50 meters from the N7. It was a constant noise, but only visitors noticed. I never noticed. So I was wondering if it's, if it's there or not. Interesting though, it's drive has actually been interesting. I've seen little bits of Ireland on the way down, I didn't even know we're there. Um, and I have to say, hats off Volkswagen. This is all the electric car you would ever need. I really do mean that. Really is such a good car. Such a super thing to drive. Feels capable, it's rear wheel drive as well, but it feels so capable and nice. There's Kilmore Key written up in front of me now. Uh, we've arrived. I've made it. I made it, lads. <laughs> Not that I was ever in doubt that I wasn't going to make it. Just, just, it feels like I've completed the journey now.
No charge, no nothing. We're done. We're done. Break time. Gonna have a rest. Gonna leave the windows open a crack because it's quite warm in here and I'm gonna have a little rest. I can do stationary air conditioning and stuff, so I'm okay. I can put on the air conditioner, but I won't just yet. Anyway, it's time for a little break and it's time to charge all the batteries as well. Let's do this. So I left all my batteries charging in the boot of the car while I had to wander around. I had another problem in that the chip shop didn't actually open until about 3 o'clock or half 3 or something, so I had to stay here until that happened. Kilmore Quay is actually very nice, a population of about 372. Lovely little memorial garden that's actually there, you can wander around, have a nice time. Really good beaches, nice and clean area. And of course a chip shop with tons of parking around it and public toilet facilities, which is very unusual at the time. It is a nice place to visit, I highly recommend it. But my main job was to get home again. And that meant getting my chips into me, and making sure I had enough electricity to get back. I'll show you a little map of where I am. And I'll show you where the nearest charge point is from here for electric cars. There's one charge point in this town, but it's a Tesla destination charger. Uh, and although that is essentially type two, I can't open it or start a charge. The cars I have, you need to have a Tesla car to do that. So. It kind of screws up that point, but I, it doesn't matter. I'm not charging here. I'm just going to stop here, get the chips, turn about, head back. Okay, I'm going to the chips. There's fish and chips. I'm sitting out here, the cars are behind me, and it's sea view. So now I'm going to have my fish and chips before I head back uh, out to Port Leash. See what like. Oh, the packaging. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Hold on now. Now we gotta get in the car and play Jeopardy to get home. According to this now, I've gained 5 kilometers sitting here, 170 kilometers to go. I have 136 kilometers to go home. I'm gonna trust Google Maps because if I set the sat nav from a Volkswagen, it wants me to bring me by a charge point and make me stay there for half an hour. So that's okay. But um, the charge point is kind of on the way. So I'm gonna trust Google Maps for a moment and just see how I get on with that. Anyway, the fish and chips were awesome. Thanks very much, Salty. Salty chippers down here in Kilmore Key. Oh, well now, I'm going to start that. Thanks, no problem. I will, I'll do that now one second. Just gonna turn that into eco for a go to make sure I'm absolutely in the most awesomely good mode. And go back to Apple CarPlay. And then we're sorted, yep, let's go. I'm gonna open the window because it's bloody warm in here. But I feel good. I feel good. Do, 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 do. I knew that I would now. Yeah, the chips were good. I'm gonna pay for that later. I'm gonna feel sick for the rest of the day. <laughs> we're eating so much stuff. A lot of food, a lot of food. Right, good. Glad to hear it. We're off. My tripod seems to have found a vibration in the car that I can't feel. Look at it go! Hop it along. So Google's way home is the M11, so out on the waterway, um, which is probably the most efficient route because you get to keep the same speed the whole time. But I want you to listen to something. Here are quiet the whole car is. It's like that all the time. This car is sublime. What Volkswagen has done here is unwittingly, I suppose I was going to say unwittingly, created a supercar. Just, it is my car, I like it, I enjoy it, there's nothing I don't like. The 12 volt socket in the boot doesn't work. I'm just saying, that doesn't work. But everything else works. Uh, software even works. 
okay so the sat nav brought me away and never seen before in my entire life but i don't care it's it was just really really good i really enjoyed the drive down there's nothing that i dislike really here yeah some of the stuff is a little bit flimsy plastic wise but i don't really care if i'm honest it's not really bothering me everything works it's just like an electric golf or something Anyway, I'm under 100 kilometers from home, so 98 kilometers from, from my final destination. Uh, but I don't know um, whether that at this kind of staying absolutely stock still on the motorway is going to work out at 126 kilometers range. So I've lowered my speed to 100 kilometers an hour instead of 120, just to be a little dingy bit more efficient. Let's see what happens though. But uh, I'm, I'm sound in the mind that I have to make a decision at Carlo. Carlo is ahead of me now, and that's where a fast charge point is. So I need to make, I need to decide. So I'm going to have to commit at that point to go on from Carlo to Port Leash, or to stop at Carlo and get a fast charge. I don't know. The jeopardy is real. So it's happened. The yellow light has come on to say I'm running out of charge. Up behind a tractor doing 70 kilometers an hour. It's 60 kilometers to the destination. I've 80 kilometers range, 20 kilometers margin for error. <laughs> Carlos 20 kilometers away. I don't know. I don't know. No, it's not good. I got to crack a window. I have to breathe. Sitting in my own juices now, lads. No, no, don't drive. Sitting in my own juices. It's hard work. It's hard work. It is. It just is. Guess what? There's a fast charger in that place over there. Nissan. I'm just going on, just going on, I'm going on lads, I'm going to risk it for a biscuit, <sighs> wish me luck, <laughs> we could be in trouble here, we could be in real trouble here, but I'm going to, I'm going to hyper mind it, I'm going to do everything I can to regenerate power whenever possible, but it won't give it to me, I take my foot off and it just begins to coast, and then it starts to regenerate very slowly, but it's, god it's so slow, this is what's turning on and off itself. I want to control over that Volkswagen. I want to be able to control. I know I can do B at the top there, but that's not the same. That's like turning on the brakes. <laughs> Let's see when I come out the other side of Port Leach, the other side of Carlo at, range-wise. Oh, signs for Port Leach now. We're good. We're good, we're good. We're nearly through Carlo. Now I'm starting to do the thing with the fingers now going, I might make this. But I'm still panicking about it. <laughs> running out of an electricity in an electric car is not the same as running out of petrol in a petrol car. Running out of diesel is really bad for an engine. Really bad. But running out of petrol isn't so bad. But running out of electricity requires tow hitches and cranes and things. Look at all the warnings. <laughs> This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Set the battery left. 29 kilometers. I'm in limp mode. It's telling me I can't go very fast anymore. So I'm just gonna keep it creeping here. Keep it creeping, boys. This is going to be very close. Seven percent. We're going uphill here. Everybody slow down in the middle of the hill. So I'm gonna have to just push my uh, accelerator pedal. I don't want to, but I have to. I've gone, I'm over its range now, you know, the, the range I actually drove today is longer than the car is capable of driving. And yet it keeps going. What are you running on? There must be ions in there, some are doing their thing. It's now starting to go into limp mode, it's restricting my speed down as well. So, um, 
there's that. Lads, if I make this, I'm going to celebrate. Slow down, it's a bad bends. I'm happy to see the bad bends because it means I can decelerate and let the car do its trundling down. I wish there was a better way of doing the engine braking, lads. There must be a better way of doing this. There has to be a software update here somewhere that'll do this for me. Okay. I'm I'm very hopeful we're gonna make it. We're, I'm about five minutes away. I have enough charge to get there. I think I'm down to six percent charge. Google took me back a totally different way of going, you know, higher speed, and one thing I definitely noticed was going slower on the way down gave me way more range. Way more range compared to coming back. Uh, I should be landing with a spare 30 kilometers range on my car now, not 6% battery. Uh, really, really good cars. Lads, the charger's there. Charger's there. I've made it. I have made it with 5% battery left. I've made it. I cannot believe it that the car made that bloody journey. I honestly do not believe that. That is incredible. That is incredible. What a car. Seriously, what a car. 5% left, 21 kilometers. That kept going up and down. But 5% of battery left, that's all I was in it. That's it, mode. <laughs> uh, nearly out, nearly gone. So look, would I do that every day? <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody does that every day. But it's interesting to see where we got to, you know. I started this morning right here, charging up this car. Drove to Wexford. Had the best fish and chips in the world and draw back on a single charge. No problem. Initializing charging now. The car needs a bit of a rest once it charges up and I need to go to the toilet. But it's been a really interesting look at what these cars are capable of now. ID3 pound for pound for me is the car I'd actually buy. I really like it. It's really good to drive. Really stable on the road, very quiet. Gets on with its job very carefully. It's pre-charging here now, we're off. It's going to charge up now real quick. Another hour remain, about 55 minutes to 80%. It's plenty, you know. I'm bemused by the whole thing. That was an amazing experience watching that happen on my back. I really enjoyed that. Anyway, if you like this kind of thing, let's get on with it. Let's see if we find some more chip shops that are worth going to. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the support over the last few weeks. It really has meant a lot. Seriously, it's been really good. The patrons, everyone else is starting to deliver. It's just very, very good. Uh, you can find merch and stuff on bobflavin.com if you're interested in that. Uh, if you're not, it's, it's okay. I just put it there because people might want hoodies and things. That's quite cool. Um, but you can look at it there if you want to. You can also go over to Twitch or or TikTok or Instagram or somewhere else you want to go and keep up to date with stuff I do daily. If you like these kind of videos, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you want to support the videos, give us a Patreon, give us a shout out. Buy me a cup of coffee if you want to. Thank you very much for watching and until the next time, see you on the far side. Of the toilet that I had to go to.